If you choose to see Just a matter everyone we're uh, back on Berry Head again this morning I mean it's a fantastic vantage point to see the uh, see the Kestrel um, we've got the cliff uh, face over this side here um, that's where we uh, we've seen the Kestrel flying around and um, perching on the side of the cliff so it'd be great to get some footage of that um, and the Kestrel's been sort of patrolling the whole of the side of this uh, cliff face here and, and hovering so I'm fairly sure we'll get some uh, some decent shots of the cliff just absolutely perfectly placed so there we go guys another cracking start um, I was just setting up the GoPro thankfully I had uh, had the Nikon the Z6 and the 70 to 200 lens already set up looked up and there it was I think we've got some some good footage so the, um, the birds perched over on the uh, side of the cliff. Yeah, it's just moved. Um, just in this wonderful, wonderful light. But even with my, um, my long lens, my 150 to 600, I'm not, um, I'm not gonna be able to get, uh, get very, very much close up detail. So it's really wonderful to see the, uh, the Kestrel um, sort of patrolling down the side of the cliff there. Um, spend a few seconds hovering, looking for prey. Didn't see anything, moved on. Hovered, didn't see anything, moved on. So it's really checking out the whole, the whole area. And it's always worth um, having a, uh, a sort of a you know a really good think about your positioning as well because originally when I got here this morning um, I went down to that level there um, and I, I just sort of thought oh well I'll, I'll just go and have a look at this little um, ledge a little bit further up and it was definitely the right move because we've got a much better um, view of the whole of the side of the cliff and it, it sort of was obvious to me from where I'd seen the uh, the Kestrel hovering a couple of days ago that we were going to get a better view here so 
moved the gear back up here and uh, yeah that was definitely the right thing to do so Kestrel will um, in terms of diet be feeding mainly on voles and um, sort of small mice small mammals and uh, they need to eat between sort of six and eight voles a day and um, so the um, you know the Kestrel will be patrolling all along um, this uh, this side of the cliff looking for uh, for that type of prey and quite often they'll catch something and they'll um, take it to, uh, and stash it somewhere for later and um, they mainly eat everything on this on, on the same day but it might not um, necessarily be a, a sort of catch and um, eat the thing immediately also in terms of nesting the uh, the kestrel tends not to build its own nest um, it'll quite happily uh, sort of take over an old crow's nest or um, you know other sort of nests that have been been built by other birds it'll happily take on um, nesting in uh, nest boxes um, as well as uh, you know sort of buildings and um, hollow trees etc so again I mean just there's going to be masses of opportunity for, uh, for nests around here so this is the kind of territory the uh, kestrel is uh, patrolling and hunting in pretty ideal kind of terrain for voles and small mammals having a look for any signs of kill haven't seen any but um, that's not to say they're not eating here though I suspect they are taking the kill back onto a cliff ledge somewhere Well, that was brilliant walking back to the car and um, just happened to turn around and hovering behind me was the kestrel fantastic unfortunately the battery died on my z6 oh, there it is. Kestrel's been uh, hunting very actively down in this little area here right in front of us this morning so I've moved camera position slightly 
so that um, we've got a much better view of that little section of the cliff down there. Um, and uh, from this position we've still got a really good clear view of uh, the perch where we're hoping where we're hoping it's going to uh, come and have a meal. Okay, so the kestrel is back. She's just down out of view, sort of over that little ridge there. She popped up and flew around and uh, dipped back. So hopefully she'll uh, come out again fairly soon. Very difficult to see directly into the sunlight. There she goes. Yes. Okay guys, great news. She's back. and right in front of us. Obviously in hunting mode still. She's eyeing up the area just in front of us. So uh, for those of you that have seen my Kingfisher video, you'll know that um, the Nikon, I don't think it's just the Z6, but the Nikon has this uh, incredibly annoying um, recording limit for video um, and that uh, when it's reached that limit which is like 29 minutes and 56 seconds um, it says that it's full and you can't record any more video um, it's definitely not so and, and I've just hit that um, that limit so it's not letting me record anymore and it's definitely not that the SD card is full because I can still take stills um, it's just this annoying limit which um i don't know exactly why it is but i've read that it's something to do with um taxes around dslrs and video cameras or something or other something bloody stupid so um i think one of the things that uh, i'm going to have to explore investing in is an external video recorder because apparently that uh, that bypasses the uh, the limit. I just don't understand what what the point is of having a camera that records video, and it puts a limit on it. I just don't get it. So I think what that um, little uh, time I spent photographing the uh, the kestrel just then also achieved. I think it settled in my mind that um, I do need to get a gimbal um, to sit on top of the, uh, the Benro. And I think you know, the, the, the B2 is a great bullhead for landscape and astro, uh, but I just, I just didn't have the, uh, the control of the, um, of the camera as much as I wanted. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, I think I will definitely be getting the gimbal. Um, I think I'll probably go with the Wimbley. Um, so that's going to be uh, the next investment. It's such an incredible buzz when you get the shots you want. It really is uh, absolutely amazing when the uh, yeah the hours pay off and the wildlife we're filming does what you want it to. <laughs> really fantastic. So I've come across to have a look at the um, cliffside that the uh, Kestrel's been hunting on. So you can see the uh, the bird hide up there where I've been positioned. So we're right on the other side. There's an awful lot of opportunities for it to hunt and perch along there. It's fantastic habitat for uh, for Kestrel. Um, it's all gone a bit quiet, so um, I think that's probably going to be it for the day. And I think probably going to be uh, it for this particular film. 
So I hope you've enjoyed the video um, as much as I've enjoyed making it. Uh, if you have, please do give me a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, be sure to uh, join me next time for more wildlife in Devon. All right, take care. Cheers.